everybody and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today we're going to be making a very special recipe that's going to help you and your family avoid starvation in the unlikely but inevitable event of an earthquake. It's called Henry's Vegan Onion Tomato Flax Crackers. The Federal Emergency Management Agency or FEMA recommends a minimum of three days recommends at a minimum of three days food supplies to support you and your family in the event of an earthquake or major catastrophe. As you may have heard, Southern California recently suffered a 7.1 earthquake. Here's some actual footage taken of our household during that dangerous time. And I want to warn viewers, if you're sensitive to sensitive materials, then uh, don't watch this, I guess. Fortunately, my cat, roast beef, wasn't harmed in any way. Today, why don't you let the two of us show you how to make this non-perishable food that you can store in a cool, dry place so that when the big one hits, if nothing else, you're going to have a well-balanced cracker that you can snack on. We're going to start by dicing the onions. Dice the tomatoes. Break off some rosemary pricks. Add in some olive oil. And we're just going to start mashing it up into a juice. Usually takes me about two hours. Okay. Now we're ready to add in our flax. Now let's just stir it up. You know, a lot of people don't realize that during World War II, the Nazis that were stationed in the Middle East had a big problem with dysentery. But apparently the locals told them that if they ate camel poop, then it would cure it. And they did, and it actually worked. And then years later, scientists determined that the thing that was curing them was actually a local plant that the camels ate, not the poop itself. So I guess they could have just been eating the plant that whole time. Okay. Now we just need to put this in the fridge for a few days to cool. Meanwhile, we can go through our viewer mail. Okay, so let's just go through some of our viewer mail here. We've got uh, Gilberto in Canoga Park writes, These crackers are coming out great. Is it okay if I season my crackers with paprika or garlic salt to keep them from coming out too bland? Uh, I would probably say better not. Now I'm just very carefully ladling our flax onto some parchment paper here. Now let's spread it out evenly. Let's add some tomato slices. And finally sprinkle on some sesame seeds. Okay, now we're going to put it in the oven at 150 degrees for about 20 hours. Let's rock. One day she's got a boyfriend, the next day she's engaged, and then she says she's married. Girl, why are you playing these mind games? Love games, head games, brain games, mind benders, brain twisters. She's playing with my Puzzle conundrums, jigsaw puzzles, crossword puzzles, Sudoku, word search. Okay, so since my neighbors are nice enough to let me use their kitchen for this video, I'm going to return the favor by taking their plain old store-bought crackers and replacing them with my onion flax crackers. 
And that might be a nice little surprise treat for them if they ever have company or something. These delicious emergency earthquake crackers are going to be a whole lot of fun for you and your family to make over the holidays. Thanks again for joining me here on Henry's Kitchen. And as always, I want to say a very special thank you to my patrons at Patreon slash Henry's Kitchen for continuing to make these videos possible. I saw her on the street with another guy Funny cause she told me she didn't want to be in a relationship Mind games, love